You ready? You ready? Round one is upon us between two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. DC didn't take him long to find his range here. To all right, going for the early takedown, and he gets it. So no surprise, he wanted to get this fight to the ground. And that is certainly a good sign for him moving forward in this fight. He felt as if he had a massive advantage in the grappling and the wrestling. Now he's attacking the triangle. Triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I'm no Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like he's getting in deep. Watch triangle, watch triangle. playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount and they rush, they get nervous. They're like, oh my goodness, I'm winning. Reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of seconds because then they could be gone. He's got to drop his hips, be really heavy at the point of Now, the guy's attacking the triangle. He finds himself in trouble because he got a little bit lazy in the full guard. Looks like he's trying to manipulate the head. This could be tight. Fighter trying to control. Oh man, that was slick. Guida gets peppered here from the top. He's got to figure out a way to cover up. Looking for a guillotine. And he's out. Nowadays, you see guys just throwing little shots that don't really matter. Very few guys now are committed to ground and pound as they were in the past. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Side control now. Well, you got to stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. He's got his chin in, but now it's starting to slip under the neck. Oh, he's attacking choke now. Now he's okay. Now he can escape. Horn sounds for the end of round one. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. attempt there is blocked by the opponent. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, Let's go. jab, right hand, hook. Oh, John, that was so nice. What a beautiful take -up. Got his hand looking for a guillotine trip. Then he's out. Matthews gets up. He is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, 
push it across and secure it with his head. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Nicely done. Kawita ground and pound from half guard. He is making these shots count. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position. Looks like he might attempt the guillotine now. Watch guillotine. His back here looks like he may try to hip escape. Good solid strike on the ground. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the position he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Matthews has got his head. Let's see if he can secure a guillotine choke here. submission there just as the horn sounded safe to say he was saved by the bell there so back to the stools they go 60 seconds to recover here we're gonna fight on ladies and gentlemen another round coming up all right let us now look back at some of the highlights from that round and there just aren't that many guys on this roster that can keep up this offensive wrestling pace over 15 or 25 minutes but he's one of those guys he is one of those guys that's able to continuously take you down even if you get up over and over. He has this ability to maintain that pace and pressure that he can wear his opponents down. That's why you see him get so many finishes as the fight progresses. Nice straight punch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Going to the body now with the kick. That one is blocked, though, by Guido. Double leg takedown, stuffed. Big punch from the clinch. And they separate. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more with that kick. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but I'm in the left. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate, a lot of activity in the hands. Look phenomenal. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Those double leg shot. Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well. On now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look from the transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. Watch triangle, watch triangle. And he's out. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Close guard. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Jake Matthews. 
Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. What a fight! All right, let's look back at some of the action, DC. They go the distance tonight, but you gotta think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest 928. For the winner by unanimous decision, Jake the Count Kid.